The American musical, naturally enough, had its roots in European forms. Because when the first settlers arrived here, they brought with them memories of musical entertainments they'd seen at home. The first musical theater presentation of record in the colonies was Flora, presented in 1735 in Charleston, South Carolina. The form changed through the years, and finally came the minstrel show, the first really indigenous American theatrical musical form, which eventually led to vaudeville and then musical comedy. Probably the most famous American composer to write for the minstrel show was Stephen Foster. And so with him and Peter Nero at the piano, we'd like to begin our tribute to the American women who have been, well, to the women who have been immortalized in the American musical. I dream of Jeannie with the light brown hair, born like a vapor on the summer air. I sigh for Jeannie with the light brown hair, floating like a zephyr on the soft summer air. Sweet Adeline, sweet Adeline, my Adeline, my Adeline, that night, dear heart, that night, dear heart, for you I pined, for it was Mary, Mary, plain as any name can be. Machine going up, she goes, up, she goes. Balance yourself like a bird on a beam in the air. She goes, there she goes. If you knew Susie like I know Susie, oh, 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 what a girl. There's none so classy as this fair lassie. Oh, oh, holy moly, what a chassis. I read a little bit of salt and sweetness. I read a dainty. was a girl named Jenny, whose virtues were varied and many, excepting that she was inclined always to make up her mind. Your mother no, you're out, Cecilia. Does she know that I'm about to steal?
baile. 